Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're going to review a cauliflower crust. It's pizza time. Right, right after, after this. this. family. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it yeah so uh today we're going to review a pizza crust from cauliflower foods there's a lot of cauliflower crusts out there but they are not created equally and most of them actually are not very good for you we actually found this one day we were in walmart and we were just comparing some different products and uh yeah we picked this up it's been sitting in the freezer we never got around to making a video for it and so we figured, hey, new year, lots of new people looking to get into keto, but the problem is a lot of the cauliflower crusts aren't very good for you. So why not do a review for it? And so, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're going to actually just make a plain pizza, right? Nothing on it, because we don't want to take away from the crust. Gotta have some cheese. And uh, then we will give it a good taste test and let you guys know what we think. So on the back here, uh, there's a little picture here of the owner. She's cute. It says Amy. It says more than 50 million people suffer from an autoimmune disease. I am one of them. After being diagnosed with lupus, I realized I needed to change my habits. However, I was frustrated because in order to eat healthy, I had to give up my favorite foods. I knew that if I was going to have long-term health and success, I would need to make food that was healthy and enjoyable. I became determined to create tasty foods without sacrificing flavor of health. I measured the success of the products by my any, by my inflammatory reactions. I like that. And flavor satisfaction. I finally came up with my first product, a flavor-infused cauliflower crust uh, that tasted as good as it made me feel. And suddenly, Cauliflower Foods was born. We offer award-winning cauliflower-based products that allow anyone to enjoy eating their favorite types of foods because eating healthy should never have to be boring. I agree. I I completely agree. So this was the original Italian flavor. They do have a bunch of different flavors. And uh, to keep it basic. Yeah, so it says on the back here, save time, convenient, easy, healthy, fast food, cost effective, smart choice, no carbs. We'll get into that when we get to when we uh, go through our five things review. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to freeze it. We we had it in the freezer. We're gonna bake it for 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put our toppings on it and then bake it for another three to four minutes. So we will be right back. Okay, we're back. And it's pizza. We've got some pizza. Okay, so I put this in 400 degrees for about eight minutes, tried to get it crispy the way the instruction said. Looks a little But burnt. the edges started to brown, but the middle isn't. Oh yeah, I see that. So, but I couldn't get it to get super crispy like a pizza crust. I did try flipping it over. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed to help a little bit. So after that, I put about a third of a cup of Ralph's pizza sauce on, or tomato sauce, mm -hmm. and then we put some mozzarella cheese across the top. Cheesy See, cheese. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Okay, I didn't put any extra seasonings. There's no salt, no pepper, no oregano, so we can get all of the flavor from the pizza crust. Okay, so you can see here, that's what we got. It's a very thin crust, yeah. kind of like, you know, I would say almost like a blaze crust. Like it's kind of like mushy in the middle because it's very thin for the weight of the sauce and the cheese. I want to get the back hair. Okay. So the flavor of the spices from the crust, this is the Italian. I think they're really good. Definitely come through. Mm -hmm. I will say there's definitely a cauliflower taste. Yeah. You can absolutely taste that this is cauliflower. Definitely um, the toppings would help that. I feel like every layer of topping would minimize that. I agree. The only problem is... Again, if I pick up this other piece so you don't see my heavy 
Look at the weight of that, and that's with just cheese. When you start adding a bunch of toppings, it's, it's going to be soggy. very hard to pick it up. It does. You're never going to get the inside of this like really, really crispy like a traditional pizza crust. Yeah. But it's a good conveyance. You want to do our five things? Five things. So five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does the keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. The ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients in this are fresh cauliflower, mozzarella, which is whole milk, enzymes, cheese culture, and salt. We have egg whites, basil, garlic, Italian spices, which are basil, marjoram, uh, oregano, thyme, rosemary, and parsley. That is unbelievable for a store-bought from Walmart product. Yeah, those are really, really good ingredients. And you know, recently I was actually in Sprouts and there was a coupon for a cauliflower crust. You could get the cauliflower crust or the pizza. And I picked it up and the ingredients were absolutely horrible. And that was in Sprouts. Yeah, I mean, you think that's bad. You should see the one from Green Giant. Yeah. Ho, 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 indeed. Really, really bad ingredients. Scary. So that is really good ingredients. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Let me see. Okay, you're gonna read this one? Yeah, I'll read this one. So there's six servings per container. You get a third of a crust. So what do we have here? Like a about a, a portion and a half. About a portion and a half. So yeah, there's two crusts in the package. I like that. Um, calories per serving are 90 calories, which is really nice. Okay. Um, six grams of fat, eight grams of protein. There's two total carbohydrates but then one dietary fiber, so one net carb. So if you in, if you eat the entire pizza, mm -hmm. the crust by yourself, it would be six total carbs For the and two. three net carbs. Yeah. If you eat the entire, if you eat one whole pizza. Right. Wow. That's incredible. And how many calories would that be? So ninety times three. Nine times three, 20, 270 calories because it's all a bunch of cheese and stuff. That's amazing. That is really really seriously good. impressive. Okay, so number three. How does it taste? I think it tastes incredible as far as the seasoning blends go. What is the obstacle for me is how mushy it is in the middle. Yeah, I think it's got a good flavor. Again, the cauliflower is definitely coming through for me, but I, they do have different seasoning ones and maybe some of the other seasoning ones. Like I, they had a hot one, like a jalapeno one. I would probably get that one. Honestly, it's not so bad for me. Yeah, no, the seasonings are really good. I just find a little bit of the cauliflower, but I'm okay with that, but I'm with you. It's this. It's it's the mushiness of it, but I guess that's how a lot of thin crust pizzas are. Now it's been sitting for a couple minutes, so it's not quite as bad. No, it's hardening up a little bit. But if I were to put this like, you know, with a bunch of toppings on it, it's gonna be more of a fork and knife kind of pizza than a handheld pizza. But not unlike Blaze, yeah. like you said. Yeah. I mean, that's a very thin crust pizza. Okay, so number four. How much does it cost? Here we go. Okay, so we got these at Walmart, and it was $9 for the box, which is two, two. crusts. So it's $4.50. That's actually not bad at all. Now, I did look on their website, and you can buy them on their website, and it comes out to be like $6.35 a crust, but you have to buy it in like a box of like three of them. I would not purchase it online until you could go to Walmart and try it and see if I you would really definitely try like it for it. yourself. So basically $4.50 across if you're not finding it on sale anywhere, which I guess is a bit expensive. But then when you think about having to buy the cauliflower, try to make your own cauliflower crust, because there are lots of recipes out there for cauliflower crust. Mm -hmm. And then you have to like try to crisp it up, try to get it all right. But I also look at, you know, Blaze Pizza, a keto crust, which is not much no. like sturdier than this right i don't even think it is any sturdier than this it's a four dollar upcharge and that was a four dollar upcharge so you're right in the right range of what a keto crust that you're not making at home is going to cost you exactly so it's not super bad it's a good treat i would I say it's a so. good treat okay so number five would we recommend it i would absolutely recommend it and like i said the the longer it sits the more it's hardening up yeah so i think just even though you might want to eat it piping hot just wait a tick and then it'll provide a better mouth feel I think. I think it's gonna come down to do you absolutely have to have a crust if you want something if you're really missing that crust feel I think that this is a good option as far as 
getting it to crisp up. Maybe you can uh, play with the temperatures a little bit. Maybe cook it at a little bit lower temperature, like 300 degrees, but longer. Right. That may help you crisp it up a little bit. It's just going to come down to playing with a little bit so that you don't get the burnt edges like this, which it's not burnt burnt. It's just kind of overcooked cheese. Well, and that's a personal preference too, because sometimes I like the burnt edges. Right. So, but overall, I would absolutely recommend it, especially because there's like no carbs in it, even total carbs. There's no bad ingredients in it. So it's not something you have to be like, oh, you know, the biggest thing that's going to make this a treat is the cost. Yeah, but it's not got any kind of like wonky aftertaste. No. It's definitely something that if we were going to a hotel and they had like a little oven there, we'd get like the kitchenette. I would Great totally way. bring this Yeah, because all you need is this. And some cheese. Some cheese and some sauce. If you even want to put sauce on, maybe you just want to put some cheese and some you know vegetables or something like that on there. I might even just butter this bad boy and put a little bit of garlic and some mozzarella and kind of like a like your own little crazy bread. Yeah. Now, one thing, as before we end the video, I do want to say, I forgot to mention before, when I went to cook it, we had had it sitting here on the counter for a couple of minutes and it was starting to defrost. Do not do that. I had a really hard time getting it out of the package oh. because it was defrosting and it was crumbling as I was putting it onto the pizza pan. So I had to kind of press it back in and then I had to cut perfectly around it. So you definitely want to go directly from the freezer to your pizza pan or your cookie sheet. Do not let it defrost. Otherwise, you have a crumbled mess. Okay, that's so. a good tip. <laughs> well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have ever tried the cauliflower foods pizza crust. And what do you top it with? Yeah. So, like I said, that is our video. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.